Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I've been drinking tea. <laughs> so, like this. Four Seasons tea. And... Green tea. And... Black tea. What else do I have? Oh, yeah, I've got Earl Grey, which is really good. I don't have to put sugar in any of these. <laughs> uh, I've got Jasmine Tea. That's really good. Um, I have English Breakfast. That one's really good. Oh, Peppermint Tea. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And these all work in my little coffee pot. My little uh, imitation Keurig. <laughs> Keurig. And I have peach tea. I decided to switch over to tea because I'm drinking too much coffee. And then I found out that I'm drinking too much tea. <laughs> Not really. Uh, what it is is that it's winter time. It's getting winter time now. So what happens is uh, When I first get up in the morning, I want hot drinks So I will drink two or three cups and I'm not using my big cup anymore. It was double the size of this cup So I'm using this cup now because I was drinking like three cups of my other cup Which is double this size, which is way too much But if I drink three cups of this 11 ounce cup, then I'm fine so I'll get up in the morning and I'll drink, uh, you know, a cup of tea and do some work on the computer and stuff. And then I'll drink another cup of tea, take my shower and get all cleaned up, ready to go. And then I'll have my third cup of tea when I start work. It's really good tea. I got it on Amazon. A variety pack of a hundred, hundred pods of, uh, I don't know how many different flavors. There's flavors in the box I haven't even pulled out yet. But... Uh, what was I, where was I going with this video today? There was something I was going to talk about today, if I can remember what it was. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I love it when I start a video and then I can't remember what I was going to talk about. That's just awesome. That's great. I love doing that. Let me tell you, I've had my third cup of tea already this morning and I've already done couple of appointments so I'm just kind of relaxing off I've still got more work to do but I've got a little bit of a break so I thought I'd make a video and I know it looks like I'm wearing the same exact shirt I did in my last video and you're right I am because I just did my laundry this morning and this was the first shirt I pulled out <laughs> after I took my shower this I just I was putting all my clothes away in the closet and stuff and I just pulled this shirt out threw it on the bed before I took my shower and this is the shirt that I put on so I'm fine with that you know, I don't have 365 shirts, so I can wear a different shirt in every single video. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about this morning, but I can't remember what it was. But I'm going to post this video anyway, because sometimes just talking. Sometimes we don't have to talk about dentures. Sometimes we can talk about other stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was able to eat a peanut without my teeth. <laughs> That's what I was going to talk about. I got a little bag of those planters peanuts the other day, and I was going on my toothless day, and I wanted peanuts. So I bought a little bag of those peanuts, and I, at first, you know, it kind of hurt because my gums aren't used to chewing stuff that hard. But after a couple of minutes of trying to chew down through those peanuts with my gums, my gums just kind of went numb and I was able to chew up those peanuts. Um, so that's good. They hurt like hell the next day though, my gums. Whew, man, they hurt. <laughs> but I can do it. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> um, I tried almonds a few times, but 
no matter how much I try to bite through an almond, it's just not going to happen. It's like trying to bite through a stick when you don't have your teeth in. They're hard enough to chew with your teeth. Chewing an almond without your teeth, I don't think is going to be possible for anyone. And I don't care how tough your gums are, I don't think anybody would be able to chew up an almond without their teeth. So when you're going toothless, there are limitations. I haven't found any limits with my dentures. I can eat everything, including peanut brittle. But when you're toothless, there are limits. There are things you just can't do without your dentures. <laughs> Unless you want to really hurt yourself, and I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not into hurting myself that much. So there are things that I can't do without my dentures. Things that I can't eat. But if any girl wants to come in, she's sitting by the door. She's too lazy to go around the house and come in the front door. Are you coming? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> When I say goodbye, she knows I'm closing the door, so she better get her butt in here, because I will just close the door and leave her out there. <laughs> Started out to be a very beautiful day. It was nice and warm. I had the front door open. The sun was shining in. It was nice and warm. I turned the heater down, and now it's windy and cloudy and cold. I had to close the front door and turn the heater back on. I don't have a heck of a lot to talk about today. Not really. I've been working on the truck. Did a couple of motorcycle vlogs for my uh, Bill's Life channel. Um, other than that, really don't have much to talk about. Trimmed up my mustache and beard. Letting my beard grow back, but I'm going to keep it this short. And every time I grow my beard, when I first start growing my beard, I get little ingrown hairs. And uh, it kind of makes me look like I got acne, but I don't. They're just little ingrown hairs that they'll heal on their own, and then I won't have any more after that. But I'm going to keep my beard short. I like having facial hair, but I like it short. I don't like it getting too long. I just like the scruffy look, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep it short. And this is the shortest trimmer I have for my shortest comb I have for my trimmer so that'll be perfect because that way it won't get out of control and get crazy on me and stuff and it's perfect can't remember what else I was going to talk about oh yeah so you know I don't know if I've ever showed you but I have a little uh, wrist blood pressure monitor that I put on my wrist and you just put it on your wrist and you hold your arm up at heart level and you push the button and it pumps up and it's, you know, it's just like the cuff that goes on your arm, only it goes on your wrist and it's all self-contained in one little unit. You just strap it to your wrist and you hold it up like this at heart level and it tells you your blood pressure and your heart rate. And it's always been very accurate. And since my brother actually has high blood pressure, he was checking his with uh, one that he bought it the drugstore and the first reading and he always checks it three times the first reading that he got was like 135 over 83 or something like that and he was like that's not bad and then he immediately started it again and it was and it came out 167 over 102 or something like that and he goes now how in the hell is that possible I said, well, do it a third time. So he did it a third time, and it came out 159 over 96 or something like that. And he was like, eh. he goes, I don't understand how just sitting here relaxing, how my blood pressure can spike like that. So I went in the room and got mine. And I said, what was your first reading? He was like 135 over something. And I said, well, put this one on and try it. So he did, and it came out, like it was like 135 over 87 or something like that and I said try it again so he did it three times and it read this virtually the same every time because he has high blood pressure he's on high blood pressure meds and as long as he's below 140 over 90 or something like that he's okay <clears throat> so 
he checked it three times with mine and it was like 135 over 82 or 85 or 87 or something like that each time. So there's something wrong with his machine. And I tried to tell him that a while back. I said, you know, every time he checks his blood pressure, it just seems like it's off the charts. And I said, there's something wrong with your blood pressure machine. It's just not working right. It's giving you false readings and stuff. And checking it three times yesterday with his and having three very different readings and then checking three times with mine, he realized that there's something wrong with his machine. It's not working right. So he needs to uh, get a new one or just use mine so that he knows that it's going to be an accurate reading. So anyway, I don't know what else to talk about today, guys. The sun was shining bright, and it was beautiful outside, and it was warm, and now it's, well, now the sun looks like it's coming out again. Let's go find out. Because I wanted to do this video outside, but after I got off the phone, it was cold and cloudy, and the wind was blowing. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's amazing. Huh. Won't stay up for very long, though. No, there's, uh, there's clouds coming in, coming from the south. So it'll only be out for a minute. It's going to rain today, I think. But every chance I get when the sun's shining, I like to come outside. So, because I love the warmth of the sun on my skin. Trash people are coming by. Oh, yeah, I did a motor vlog, and... Uh, <laughs> I was looking all over hell for one of my cameras because I knew that I took all the cameras off the bike. Or at least I thought I took all the cameras off the bike. I was looking all over for my camera and I thought I must have lost it because I was looking all over the bike for it and couldn't find it either. So I thought, well, I lost one of my cameras, but this morning when I came out and was walking around because the sun was shining bright and I was enjoying the warm weather, I looked under the box again because I have a camera underneath the box underneath the box on the, the right side of the bike underneath the box that points backwards so you can kind of see the exhaust pipe and the traffic behind me and stuff I think it's a cool view but I was looking all over for it and then this morning I went out there and looked again and there it was I thought for sure it fell off the bike somewhere but it didn't it was still there but I had already edited the video without it so that one just went too way. that one just went by the wayside didn't get used Got a trash truck coming around today. It's pretty cool how those things work. Ain't so bad at I think they're very cool. Goodbye, trash. <laughs> and this guy's obviously been doing this a long time because he is very proficient. He's very good at what he does. Wow. It's very fast. That's when you know somebody's a professional. <laughs> well, sun's going behind the clouds again, so I guess that's it for today, my friends. I'm going to let you go. I didn't really talk about much except eating peanuts without my teeth and uh, how, how much it hurt my mouth. <laughs> Other than that, I hope everybody has an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.